Hey everybody, this is Eddie, and tonight I'm going to be unboxing an HP 10B2 calculator from Hewitt Packard. It's the entry level business and finance calculator. Now, this is the classic 10B2 calculator, it's been out since the late 80s. This video is taken by an iPad 2. This color scheme, uh, black and gold and blue, is the latest reincarnation of the 10B2. The for former incarnation involved purple and gold keys. So let's get this uh, unboxing started. I just have my ordinary everyday scissors. As always, this calculator is permitted on the CFP exam. I believe that's Certified Financial Planner. So if you are looking for a calculator to use on the Certified Financial Pl uh, Planner exam, you, can, you, you are allowed to use this calculator. This is definitely a hard package to open um, because we have to cut through plastic. So, even with strong scissors, you have to use some type of force. I find it most helpful to. Cut one side, and then maybe if I can get it open like that. There we go. The blister pack is now open. And now here's what you get with the classic 10B2 financial calculator. As I get to struggle with the blister pack. Obviously, this is the cover right there. You have the chemical substance notices. I think they just started this recently. You have the calculator itself. You bring it in with its case. Fits, kind of fits in a little tight, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it does fit in a little tight, but it fits. You kind of have to be careful with cases like this because this can easily you can easily turn it the calculator on without you knowing it. So I kind of recommend that you might get a stronger case for these types of calculators such as this one that comes with the HP 17 to B plus, I would probably use this case rather than this case right here. But then again, this case is new; it's a little bit tight. It comes also with a full-blown paper manual that's been printed ever since 1988, obviously with updated fonts. And let me give you a comparison. Here's the old 10B2. And here's the new one. Let's turn. This feels very lightweight. If we open up in the back, we have two CR2032 batteries that fit very nicely which has basically been the standard for the HB10B2 series. And then let's turn it on. And as usual, um, you have the display. It's very crisp. Here's, a, here's the old display. Compare the newer ones, kind of more taller. A little bit more skinnier than that classic. 
I believe this is chain, so let me try 2 plus 3 times 5. Yes, this is a chain calculator, meaning that you, all the uh, inputs that you do on this calculator go right as you enter them with no precedence of order of operations. So think of this as a four banger. This calculator does not offer reverse Polish notation. And just, just in case you haven't seen a 10B2, the top row is your time value of money keys. You notice the I slash YR button. That's the interest per year button. So you still have the number of periods, but you can enter an annual interest rate. Um, your profit row is the second row, cost, price, margin, markup. Also, this contains your net present value and eternal rate of return. And also your annuity due and ordinary annuity settings. Third row is your statistics, um, a place to enter your cash flows. Uh, percent change and percent. The percent works like any four banger. Say if I had I bought this at thirty four ninety nine, and the tax I add tax of nine point two five percent. It gives you the tax by pressing the percent key. Press equals. Then I had paid thirty eight dollars and twenty eight three cents for this. This calculator has 10 numeric memories. It also has one special memory, M. You can store stuff in it and you can easily add and recall M by these three keys. The the, this calculator does offer storage arithmetic. If I hit orange, clear all, briefly you'll be told how many payments per year this calculator is set up. And by 12 p payments per year, it, it this is set up naturally for a monthly payment, but that can always be changed. The statistics are in the 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6 key. Very hard to see the blue against the black background. You've got mathematics keys. This N in factorial only works on integers up to 69. You're fixed. Um, setting is orange equals and then whatever number you want to put it on floating will be orange equals point and they have it marked display on this calculator they don't have it marked fixed and then you got your uh, square root key your square key, your power, reciprocal, your logarithms. And that's basically it. That's the unwrapping of the HP.